And the vise we got next is a eighth ounce pill head. Uh, I painted it, powder painted it purple and white. It's got a purple, candy purple on top, white on the bottom. Resin coated the eyes in. We got a number four sickle hook. And we're going to tie this jig chinellus. We're going to go, this honestly is my favorite way to tie a jig. And it's my favorite jig to fish with. Uh, chinellus body. I just, I, I really like the way this jig produces. It's, it's, I don't know, it's, it's the best jig I got in my box. This is the one I always use. Uh, not quite this color. I use blue and white, uh, the purple and white. I'm kind of excited about giving it a shot, giving it a try. We're going to make this kind of flashy, uh, but it's a extremely simple jig as long as you've got the UV resin and the UV light. We're going to throw a little glitter in on top of this one. So when we get the UV resin on, we're going to sprinkle in a little bit of gl glitter. We're going to hit with the UV light. We're going to cure it inside that. So let's tie this jig up. Let's get a little bit closer to it. So uh, we're going to start with our same thing we always use. Sally Hans as hard as nails. I'm going to put a little, little coat of it on there. And what this coat does is it keeps, it hardens up and it keeps the rest of your body from spinning. When you're tying it if you've ever started tying a jig and you get the whole entire body where it's spinning you know what i'm talking about it, it especially stands out a lot more on bucktail and since we're going to be doing a chanelis body and we're going to be building the neck up we're going to do the taper neck we're going with a pretty heavy thread we're going to wrap it up pretty tight we're going to build it up kind of thick um still going to try to get used to this camera in my way but we're going to tie about a half inch down Maybe not quite even that. Pretty tight wraps all the way up to the neck. We're gonna put a little bit more on it. We're gonna stop right there. We're gonna go ahead and trim this tag end off. We're gonna put in, uh, put in some flash first. I use kind of bulky scissors. I had somebody complain about my bulky scissors. I like these. I've gotten used to them. They work good. Um, you know, it's a it, it's my tool. It's what I like. It's what I use. What I got used to. They're sharp. They cut good. That's why I use big bulky scissors. Um, I had quite a bit of feedback in the other one complaining about my shaky hands. I you know I apologize. Uh, I shake, just kind of the way I am, but. My jigs get done, they look good, so um, like I said, I'll just go ahead and apologize about the shaky hands and maybe not everybody else's choice of tools. So, all right, so we're going to cut off a little bit of flash, we're going to trim it all nice and even right there toward the end. A little bit more, we're going to tie it in, and we're going to see what we got because we're going to want it to where it's back underneath our hackle. So, let's get uh. Let's get all that tied in. We're gonna go about the same way distance as we did on our first wrap. I'm gonna tie it back in. You know, everybody's got a different way to tie. Everybody's got a different style. Uh, you know, if it works for you, do it. That's about right, that's about what I wanted. Just a little bit longer than the hook shank, just right there where the point kind of bends. And since we've got white on the bottom, we're going to put white hackle feathers on the bottom of this jig that I've already got. I've already got cut and trimmed. So we're going to lay those right there on the neck. We're going to do nice loose wraps just to make sure that that, that hackle does stay exactly right there on the bottom where I wanted it at. And get up here to the top. We're going to wrap a little bit more because remember, we're going for that tapered look on that neck. Then we're going to come back down. I'm going to go back up one more time, and I think I'm going to go ahead and add one more white feather to it. I got it cut, so we're going to go ahead and use it. We're going to put it in there. Then we're going to flip this jig over, and we're going to put the purple on the other side. All right, so that's what we got so far. We're going to roll it. Then we're going to add our purple feathers. We're going to do two on the top. Two purple. 
purple saddle hockey feathers kind of stacked on top of each other. We're going to pinch them together right there. We're going to trim a little bit of that end off just to make them even. We're going to lay them right on top of where we've been tying at. And this is going to be our final. I don't think I might add any more purple feather to it. I think we're going to leave it just like it is. But we're going to try to get all that, all the colors of those feathers all caught underneath that. Let's see where that feather lays. Actually, we might put that last purple feather in there. I do believe I will. So I'm going to put it right there on the side because it kind of looks a little bit like it's missing. Let's just add it in there. Yeah, I like the way that one laid. I like the way it laid. I liked how it's in there kind of facing down. To me, it kind of gives it more of that insect appearance. So let's get right here to the end. Well, let's call that done. Let's call that it's wrapped. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to put the UV resin on it. Got my camera a little close this time. Might be hard to do the whip finish. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, we got it. Pop it out. Pull that knot nice and tight. Let's trim that off. Let's try to get in there. I'm going to use it almost like a knife. I'm just going to push them in. With my bulky scissors, I like them. They work. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to UV resin coat that whole neck. We're going to get a pretty good coating going on it. I've already done the head and the eye. So we're going to get a good drip going right there. We're going to push that drip all the way around. Add the rest of it that's on the brush on there. All right, we're going to stop. That's all we're going to do on the neck of that. We're going to leave it. So nice and smooth. That UV resin coat put on. All right, so now what we're going to do is we got a little bottle. Got a little bitty bottle of um, ultra fine glitter. And we're going to make a mess with it. Um, I'm going to take a little paintbrush. I'm going to dip it in there. I'm going to get just a little bit there on the end of that brush, and then I'm just going to kind of sprinkle it. Now, when I hit it with that UV light, that's going to cure in that neck. The stuff that's in the feathers, that will fall out. The only place that's going to be resin coated or have that on there will be the neck. So let's hit with our UV light. It's going to be flashy. I thought I had silver and I didn't, but I was going to use the red around my neck. I had red and gold and green uh, I probably put the silver in one of my powder paints but that should come out pretty good it should should be pretty neat is it absolutely necessary to do this to a crappie jig no you can tie a crappie jig you can make it pretty cheap you can paint the head add some rubber skirting material to it a little bit of Chanel throw it in the water catch crappie with it is it more satisfying to tie a jig like this that you know just over the top that you're trying to put in your own box yeah to me it is um it's not absolutely necessary and it's not going to be any more effective than than most jigs you use it's just fun to see what you can do with it experiment with it play with it uh so for you know all the negative comments that i get about oh you don't have to do this you don't have to do that i totally get that i understand that but it's my jig and it's what i want to do to it i'm tying it and that's what i want in it so there it is. 
Let's turn it around. Let's see if we can get a better view of it in here. Get it all kind of straightened out. Get it all pulled out. That is a pretty cool jig. I actually uh, can't wait to fish with it, but these are going to someone else. Uh, it's kind of an experimental jig. I was just trying some new stuff with. And I like the way it come out. Let me know what you think. Send me a comment. A good comment, a negative comment. I don't, it don't really matter. Uh, I'm still going to tie my jigs the way I want to tie my jigs. So I appreciate and so greatly appreciate everybody who has subscribed to my channel. The comments, I love the comments. I love, you know, trying to keep up with them. If I haven't answered a comment that you've left, I apologize. I try to get to them all. Some of them I miss. Some of them just kind of disappear and I don't know where they go. But uh, send me a comment. Let me know what you think about this jig. Is it too far over the top? Is it too much? Do you think it's perfect? Are you going to tie one? Should I do something different? Let me know. And if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. It'll send you a notification every time I put up a new video. Thank you, guys. That is all I've got for tonight.